never met your God. And I don't want to. You know, maybe you actually cared about the well-being of your students. We wouldn't be having this conversation right now. Now would we? Hell, it's almost like I'm speaking to myself as if I'm some type of villain doing a monologue in a movie. You know, you made it pretty obvious that somebody like me could get in trouble for carrying around a what smoothie? But what about somebody like Ruby? He breaks every single rule possible, but you, you treat me like I'm some type of kid that just got out of juvie. Now, I'm not going to try to say whatever you want with me as beats the dean's office because I deserve to be here. Not more or less than any other student, but I belong here. <laughs> out of respect, I have to say, sir or madam, well then why can't you refer to your students as a lady or a gentleman? Why should I give my 100% best when I'm only acknowledged for 40% of it? Why should I sit in the same desk for the next six hours? I go home, my mom asks me, how was school? And I say, oh, we learned something. Something. She's asked me this question for the past nine years of my life, but ultimately it feels like at school, I learn nothing. Teachers are supposed to lift me up, not bring me down. It's always... Make sure your homework's done. Don't forget to study for the next test. They never sit you down and ask behind the reason of your disrespect. You, you tell me to be expressive, but when I do, I get in trouble for what? Spreading a message? Why should I accept it? I'm choosing to stand up to you right now to redirect it. For Christ would have never accepted it. And now, please, I'm not saying the school is bad because teachers like Mr. Hoffman, his existence has made being here a pleasure. But I don't think the teachers here understand the difference between a student that's smart and a student that scores better. Why should my future depend on how well I do in each and every single semester? You, you yell at me for being me, but only one, one of the teachers here decided, you know, to take their time out of their day to actually get to know me. Please, it's, it's almost like you're hearing all my words, but you're not listening. I love this school, but if you can't accept me for who I am and I'm just seen as the kid who back chats and breaks the rules, then I'm out. Then guess what? You look like the fool. <laughs> I'm trying by all means to leave here as a better person, but I can't do that if you think I'm bunking every single lesson. I can't stand but laugh at this whole situation and how you're not making me a better man. I don't have much faith in school, but I do have faith in people. Albert Einstein once said, education is what's left after one has learnt what they have gotten from school. Don't you get it? The point I'm trying to prove? I'm saying that we don't need school. It's a hardwired system that thinks it knows better. It leaves me feeling dumb and it doesn't motivate me to do any better. I'm saying all these repetitive tasks we must leave behind. Otherwise, future graduates will find ourselves in the unemployment line. If you teach today's students as you did the day before, I'm sorry to say, but you rob us students of a possible tomorrow. You know, maybe if you taught your past students to work for a dream rather than a paycheck, you wouldn't wonder why half of the now students are just drowning in debt. You, you can make any bad student nerdy if you bring any joy to your classroom. If it was up to me, I'd give you my letter of resignation. Because going down a path like this, I just I don't see a destination. Teachers are supposed to prepare our students for a future that doesn't yet exist. They're, they're supposed to give us love, but nowadays it's almost like you don't give up. Teachers and students, we're the only ones that can change this world, literally. Not politicians or the government, we won't do it religiously. I'm saying we can make this world a better place, individually. These tests may be 70% of my grade, but I'm not stupid. You know, I'm so glad I learned the Pythagorean theorem. It helped me a lot. Okay, no, let me stop because 
truthfully, all the stuff I was taught, I forgot. You know how many times I refuse to maintain eye contact with the teacher so I don't get caught upon? This goes to show that school isn't an environment for learning or teaching the intellect. It's just a game you play for grades and how many A's you can get. If school was really interested and, and interested in, 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 in students' personal and academic success, students would wake up later, have more freedom and homework, a lot less. You give us all this work, but we all taught the time management skills to deal with it. Don't you see what I'm trying to say? The traditional schooling method, it's foolish. No, it's useless. Multiply by the square root of stupid. So to teachers, students, and many more, I see this one question. What is school for? You're always late to my class. You never finish your homework, but you just want to go on and preach just on how you're this better lad. You know, maybe you got a decent mark in math, I wouldn't be this mad. This world owes you nothing. Nothing! That's the problem with this generation. You're, you're spoiled, you're impatient, and you're entitled. Do you know why you receive much less than you give? Because you are treated like everyone else in this world. When are you going to start to get it? This life is rigged. And the sooner you realize that, the better. Because life after leaving this classroom doesn't get any better. I give you the scores. I write the letter of recommendations to university. I give you a possible good chance at a future. But the results you're getting, you're bound to be the next failure. I, I am the only one that can give you the future that you think you deserve. So I demand the respect that I deserve. So let me tell you something. If you think you can rebel and try to change the perspective of your fellow peers, then you, you are gladly mistaken. Now as we sit in that dean's office, I'm gonna make sure you receive the longest sentence, suspension sentence, the school has ever seen. You know, I'm sorry I'm not the smartest, the most athletic in this class. I'm sorry that I laugh every time a student raises his hand, but this is who I am. And I, I just want help. You know, you, you claim that, that the teachers here are trying their very best so I can end up like the next Elon Musk. Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates. Now, I don't mean any hate, but it's the very same people that glorify all these billionaires that make life seem nothing but a race. That, that nothing else is important but just getting first place. I don't mean any disrespect, sir. But if you taught your students, me, that I deserve better, maybe we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. Because apparently I, it can't be any better.